the Ogun State Governor, Prince Dakwa Abiodun, has flagged off the construction of the 70 kilometers Abeokuta Ota Lagos Highway with the promise that the road, which provides a thoroughfare to people going to the neighboring country, would be completed very soon. The governor, during the flag off at Itori in Ewekuru local government area of the state, noted that the construction of the Abeokuta Ota Lagos Highway would include drainages, corvettes, sidewalks, medians, and laybys. He also added that his administration, aside awarding the construction of the Ecolis Giwa Toyin Street, Alagwole Ajuwon Road, Akute Ajuwon Road, in Ifo local government, and recently the Magboru Matogun Road in Obafemi Ode local government, is also set to commission the Akute Dero Ishashi Road in Ifo local government area of the state. To expedite the reconstruction of this road, five team gangs have been deployed. Five, they will be constructing in five different places at the same time. One gang will be in Ota before. One gang will be in Babalanto. One gang will be in Ewekoro Itori. And one gang will be in Abeokuta. It should be recalled that the attempt to reconstruct the road was conceived in 2019. But all efforts to convince the then administration of President Muhammadu Buhari to release the road to the state government proved abortive. Governor Abiodun, while expressing his heartfelt gratitude to President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu for aligning with the state government's request for the approval and release of the Abeokuta Ota Lagos Highway, said that the project would also create jobs for both skilled and unskilled workers in the state. By the grace of God, we will free this road in 18 months. Commissioner for Works and Infrastructure. Engineer Ade Akisonya, who was represented by the permanent secretary in the ministry, Engineer Latif Yusuf, disclosed that five gangs will be deployed on the road to ensure the timely completion of the project. The chairman of the Ogun State Council of Obas and the paramount ruler of Yewa Land, Oba Kendi Olubenle, asked this to say. Today, we are celebrating you and we are thanking God for your life. Who have placed it in your heart that this road will not remain like this? Yes, it's a federal government road. Uh, they don't write it on anybody there that you are from Ogun or from anywhere. You have done what your precedents over the years have refused to do. Also, the managing director, Cranbrook Construction Company, Mr. Gilbert Sassin, who was represented by the senior manager of the company, engineer Edmund Malu, called for the support of all motorists during the construction period, assuring of the availability of employment for both skilled and non-skilled workers.